Hey everybody, welcome to the second season of my Subnautica videos. I've chosen to rebuild the base which is probably responsible for half of my use. So it is going to be the Reaper Leviathan Observatory at the border of grassy plateaus and dune zones. So uh, I'm not gonna quite make the same base again I'm gonna use a different design hopefully improved one but I just wanted to honor that video with a quite elaborate tutorial so I'm not sure if I've introduced you to my Cyclops uh, let's start from the bottom deck so here I have fabricator and medical kit fabricator of course uh, the built-in storage I've used for uh, for seeds and some rare materials but here I have a full row of titanium filled lockers and glass filled lockers then I have some exotic materials like those used for reactor electronics Some rare metals, of course, lithium, and some minerals, diamonds, etc. So, I have everything I need stocked here to make any kind of base that comes to my mind. So, here, in the cabin, I don't have many decorations, but I've created radio, the... Um, Commanding chair, played some, let's see what's, lander fruit, yeah, and here, um, it's sleeping quarters, of course, it's some interesting image that I've gathered, I think it was um, somewhere in the Lost River, uh, I've used the Aurora poster here, it fit quite nicely, and here, you always want to have a modification station at your Cyclops so that you can create upgrades on the fly. One locker in this room shouldn't hurt uh, at all. Then aquarium, mm, I've recently just put it here. Mm, and fun fact, if you grab a peeper which has the enzyme 42, uh, it still remains even if you put it inside the aquarium uh, of course your feeding grounds mm, marble melon is the most efficient someone somebody earlier said that if you create four bobo trees it um, it is a bit more efficient when it comes to giving you food and water but uh, I think those grow a bit slower and uh, marble melons are somehow practical for me. So uh, you know what's on the back of the Cyclops, I'm gonna, not gonna waste any more uh, time on that. Uh, I'm just gonna introduce you to my upgrades, yeah. So. We have. Um, Seek fluid intake. Oh, time to eat, I guess. That module, shield module, engine module, uh, the sonar, the fire suppression system, and thermal reactor. So, let's eat first. Vital signs stabilizing. And then I'm gonna park the oh sorry. I'm gonna park the Cyclops just above the Reaper Leviathan. And look at these lights. If anyone finds them useful, please please write it in the comments. You can barely see anything. 
other than what's directly in front of you. And I mean really close because further away it just gets obstructed by these lights and not enhanced. So, I think I'll just leave it here. Perhaps a bit lower. Oops. And I'm gonna shut down the engine. Engine powering down. But I'll leave the lights because they are more useful to you when you're outside because they give quite a nice lighting so there's our guy um, this ripple leviathan is not so dangerous because you can see it from a mile away and it won't attack you that often because his, the center of his zone is quite further away from this edge here. So, uh, I'm gonna create a base uh, which is made in three levels, starting from here and descending down. You'll see, I think you'll like the design. Now, for the start, Welcome Captain. All systems online. I'm gonna use some foundations materials. One hatch, perhaps some glass, but I don't think I need the glass right away. We'll see. Cyclops is close, so it won't matter. Oh yeah, the moon pool. The moon pool materials. Now let's see. You might want to start always building your base from the moon pool. And I'm gonna explain to you why. So, if I place, for example, this T compartment, uh, no matter what you do, the moon pool orientation will be random and fixed, and you won't be able to rotate it. So, you might want to start building from the chosen orientation of your moon pool and then working from it all right this couldn't be any better so it's always nice i think aesthetically if at least two of these two of these uh, well it, that scared me i don't know why because I'm practically indestructible for the sand shark. So, uh, these legs, you want to have them. You want to create moon pool in such a way that both of them can be seen. So, if I moved it a bit to the right, then this leg wouldn't appear and etc. So, I think this looks quite nice. I'm gonna T compartment here. Hopefully the Reaper won't come anytime soon. Now I'm gonna create wow. Biters are also here. I'm gonna create one platform over here. And another one over here. Okay, 
Did I draw? I'm not sure. I thought I brought four lab with me. Never mind. Alright, so let's now take more materials to create the um and the solar panels. We'll need some basic power for the air supply. So when you think about it, solar panels are not so cheap, but they're perpetual, so it makes sense for them to be a bit more expensive. Now, let's create a few of those. I'll place one over here. If you watch my earlier videos, you All know how I like to play online. these solar panels. And that should be enough for air supply, of course. I'm gonna place hatch here. And the most dangerous part, I guess, is over. Because now I can build a base from the inside. Now, what I wanted to create... Oh, he spotted me. Or not. Yeah, he did. Welcome aboard, Captain. See, we're safe. And this place is quite unique because of this beautiful blue water. There's no murkiness. Visibility is good, even during the night. So, let's now gather more titanium. I'm gonna use lithium reinforcements right away. because uh, the um, hull integrity will fall drastically as I place more, more and more multi-purpose rooms. <coughs> wow. I want to kill this creature. I don't think... Wow! Again, sorry. I don't think... Biter is gonna scare me anymore. Alright, so... Let's see, I'll use... I think... Well, I'm not sure. Let's place one reinforcement here for the start. And I'll use an, an X compartment here. And then I'm gonna connect these two. And I'll repeat that on the other side, of course. And let's use another reinforcement here. 
So, maybe a window. Nice. Look at it. So, I'm now going to connect the other side, of course. That's gonna be our top level. I'm also gonna connect this, but I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do it later. I'm gonna work my way down just to get a sense of the general layout. Oh no, not here. I mean, maybe I could do it. No, I'll use. Oh, no titanium. Well, there's plenty titanium here. And I'll bring some more lithium and more glass. But not too much. Alright, let's work our way down. Now, I've never built a base like this, so... I've never built a... eye compartment that go directly above the multi-purpose room. I didn't think it was possible, but obviously it is. And look... Look how nice it looks. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And I'll need more lithium reinforcements. I think I'm gonna create an entrance here. That would be nice. Captain, all systems I mean the hatch. Now more titanium. And some more glass. build some windows maybe not everywhere but just to get a general sense of view now let's see I want to descend one lever 
level further. Oh yeah, so... Windows are not gonna go there. Come on. I know you want me. Come on. Once you enter the base, it just drops the chase, so you can leave immediately. Just need to avoid its mouth. If you've ever been so close to Reaper and felt so safe like I do now. is not as dangerous but under one condition you need to see it to avoid this all right so There's no reason not to connect. This corridor here. And place a glass window right here. And now, I want to descend base even one level lower. But first I'm gonna need more materials. And more reinforcements. Then do we'll see more lithium. I mean, I could, I could for the time being use a bit of these kinds of, rip, but no, those are too weak, and we're building a massive base this time. more glass instead of titanium
now let's build one more level down from here Bulkhead here. Why not? One here. Or no, no. Oh, it fits here. Okay. We'll just place it here. here for now. Glitch again. Now let's see. Titanium and more titanium. I think. Alright, that 
that's enough of reinforcements for now. Now look at this, I was quite lucky if the ladder descended this way and it's completely random, much like the placement of Moonpool. Um, this exit would have blo been blocked, so... It's so good now. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's go this way. Okay. Now, maybe this should have been an X compartment. Yeah, it should have been an X compartment. Drop the chase now. The primary observatory will go here, of course. And let's see how it would look like having two of these over there. Quite fitting, I think. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So, so let's see if I can improve this design even further. Maybe, I don't know. Create one bridge here. Maybe not. I know the sand shark is following me. this to T up compartment or leave it like this because I'm not gonna descend the ladder from here for one reason I hate having multiple ladders stacked stacked on top of each other because you can't click well enough uh, reliably enough to um, climb up climb down so it's quite annoying to me I will avoid it in this case but
Hmm. Maybe I could use one corridor this way and then connect it directly to this one via the ladder. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So this sand shark bores me. So let's use T compartment here. And let's use another hatch. When I need the quartz for that, of course. better if I could connect these, this level, with the top one. That would be awesome. Hmm, I'm gonna do that. Okay, now I can build this observatory. Four more lithium, I think. Much more glass. some quartz no cool hey now let's see how I'm gonna connect this be possible this way. The only way that I think it's going to be possible is this way. But I'm gonna work from here downwards. Maybe like this. I'm gonna try it both ways. Or perhaps this. 
Or perhaps both. 30 seconds. the designs from the inside something's wrong for some reason I can't build oh yeah I need quartz I need everything welcome aboard captain all oh, systems online. Not one quartz. More glass. More titanium. And now let's see. quite nice already this has to be a basic eye compartment and one ladder here come on sense for the ladder I mean for the corridor to go this way if the ladders are gonna remain like that and they will Perhaps I've come to a better solution. Just now I need to leave this place somehow. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. from the outside. else find this attack animation 
funny. Now, I can do one T compartment here. No, one I compartment here. And one T compartment here. And that also looks nice. Unless I can build an eye compartment here. Nope, I'm gonna leave it like this. So, this is my final decision. There. Now, since I'm gonna have... No, I'll leave it like this. There will be some outdoor grow bats here, so... Now, glass window. Here and here. Perhaps even a hatch. Let's see how the ladders. It is a quite modest project, but it blew up so fast. Now, this base might be the second only to my Reaper Leviathan Observatory complex in the mountains. But I think it's gonna be worth it. Let's see if this observatory will get more views than the original one. Yeah, this is perfect. Perhaps I'll replace this with a hatch later, but I don't see why. Now, some glass. And again, I'm gonna need to have fun with the reinforcements. Do I have lithium? Yes, I do. Now, corridors like this are perfect spots to place some reinforcements. See, they release nothing to look at over there. Here, perhaps, I could use a window. But then again, it doesn't add too much. Because you can have this view already from inside of this glass corridor. <clears throat> right, now... Sorry. <clears throat> These multi-purpose rooms simply need to have the glass all the way around here now let's see if the view this way yeah it's kind of cool
Let's make things symmetrical. of this, let's say, zoo area, which is quite unexpected. Did you know that this is possible too? But it doesn't add too much. Placing windows here or here. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. titanium that I have scattered around. I'm gonna forget about it later. Right, so... Mm, let's see now. First, I'm gonna have to connect these. Oh, the T compartment goes here, right. Not like that, but like this. Then an I compartment. Yeah, why did I do that? This compartment can be glass one too. But first I need to deconstruct this. And this. And then go outside. And then... To but bumped into a base. Oops, and now it is getting serious. This 
this here is quite a low level area. Imagine wandering off here for the first time quite early where you don't have a sea moth yet and bumping into this thing. And the same thing can happen can happen near the crash zone. There you can't even see this creature from afar because there's a lot of kelp there. Oops. Too much. Too much. Seek fluid intake immediately. some bulkheads here of course we can and some more here Resume the operations. Now a descending corridor. More. Luckily, this base isn't so deep, so the base integrity compartments. integrity compartments don't get much penalty one two three right I do have lithium, but I don't have titanium. Now, what I do need is more glass. Oh, yeah, time for this too. This isn't gonna have a single observatory. We're gonna go much further than that. I'm gonna die without water. Oh, for just emergencies. I do have some water stored here. Vital signs stabilizing. There. Fixed. Now.
gin. inside of this base. Yes, there is. Strange. See? Something glitched. Yeah, definitely. Tell me it's not just it's not just this one hole. No, oh, it isn't. There it is. Integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. And the light is fixed. Excellent. Okay, you can easily get lost here. the lubricant. No. More lithium, more titanium. First, let's add as much reinforcements as possible. Now, I'm not sure. I wanted to close up this corridor, but it looks so nice this way. And I wanted to close it because I wanted to have a console on this side. But let's not worry about that for now.
And let's go with the bulkhead. Oh, it maybe makes sense. We have bulkheads here. To keep things symmetrical. What should I need more? There is one more place. Now let's see if the glass does any good job here. Perhaps. Yeah, why not? Here too. Here it's utterly useless, I think. But this makes sense. something in construction. Yes. The window. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. can start working on more windows here and here I'm still not sure should I yeah I think I need hatches Get some more. Oh yeah, let's see if I can place a lithium anywhere else. But the 
bulkheads first. Now I have two more spots, slots for bulkheads. I think maybe one here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. place for observatory and I need to make it symmetrical okay my character is going to die I can't even run anymore There. Glitch. More glass. This might be the biggest installation that I've created. Still not sure. Other animation when entering the moon pool starts glitching then sure it might easily be the biggest but until that happens the mountain complex seems to be still bigger Like that. 
let's clear the bottom level first so everything is okay here. Bulkhead, bulkhead, bulkhead. Now the second level, bulkhead. I yet need to um, create an observatory. even try to attack me in this labyrinth here. Yeah. This is better than I could ever expect ever expect. save just in case it would literally kill myself the game Welcome crashed Captain. all systems online okay I'm gonna need more titanium farming soon. I virtually thought it's impossible to spend all that titanium, but I was wrong. This one over here. Sadly, I don't have any more titanium. Now, luck. 
actually. That shouldn't be much of a problem here. Excellent. As much as it is easy to get the quartz during the night in the grassy plateaus, it is impossible to do it during the day. I mean, virtually impossible. Now where was I? Yeah. I need some more... ...bulkheads. One should be here. And one should be on the other side. Oh, I already placed it, but the hatch is missing. Closely, I mean, slowly coming together. to have to use more bulkheads apparently because I need more glass windows and there's your answer how am I how are my bases 
holding up for the glass. Well, it's constant balancing. Welcome on the All systems online. Right. can be placed in between multi-purpose rooms and the moon pool if it's connected directly. more opportunity to place bulkheads on this level. barely holding up still Thank you. 
fluid intake. Just enough integrity. To hold. I've used up all the glass. Oh my god. enough perfectly balanced no it's not enough I was just about to say perfectly balanced as all things should be but then again I need few more bulkheads Still not enough. I literally can't believe it. It's because I wanted windows everywhere. Systems online. Vital signs stabilizing. How much integrity I do need? Okay, I'm gonna. 
gonna need one more bulkhead somewhere. I'll place two. Look at this, there is nothing more here, but it still emits light. somewhere down. Nope, nope. One more level down. Maybe here. Yes. still place bulkheads there and there but I've used all the other spots I mean slots now I can remove this and I can enjoy the full view all right let's see how it looks So that's it. If you guys like this video, click that like button down below. If you want to see more, stay tuned and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video when we continue furnishing of this base. And afterwards, I think I'll move to Subnautica below zero. Oh no. Here's one last hello from this guy. So, I'll continue with some base construction in Subnautica Below Zero after I've done furnishing this base. So, stay tuned and I'll see you.